हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई प्रे फॉर यू ऑल गॉड गिव यू अ लॉन्ग लाइफ एंड यू लिव ऑलवेज हैप्पीली देयर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड आल्सो सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई हैव अ रिक्वेस्ट टू यू ऑल वाच दिस वीडियो टिल एंड फॉर सपोर्टिंग मी सो मैच स्टार्ट टू द इन्फॉर्मेशन दिज आर सम अपडेट्स ऑन दिन आर बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो आई हैव टू टेल यू समथिंग गो टू गूगल डॉट कॉम and search to naropinions.com and open this site here you can see the latest news dinar opinions and dinar guru updates on a single page so visit this site for more information what they are doing right now to you iraqi citizens is called a media campaign it is a massive attempt to tell you what they're about to give you The speed of this monetary reform education is coming at you very fast ever since the United States Treasury showed up. They are the ones that have increased the speed of this information to you. If you're going to have a petro dinar competing with a petro dollar, you're going to have to have some value for that. 1310 has not worked. It doesn't mean they're not going to try it. Try it. I think that would be a failure. building and growing your financial bases will be easier when you have money the name of the game to replenish your wealth means that you invest in positive cash flow business ventures even if you go out and buy a pizza hut just as long as it has a positive cash flow to help support your lifestyle that you would like to live in you replenish your wealth by investing in business ventures that will bring you more monthly income That's how you maintain and generate and grow your wealth. Did you know that billions of dollars are lying unused, tucked away in the mattresses of Iraqi households? Is right. Iraq has a unique challenge and opportunity right now, revolving around its currency and economy. What's the goal? The goal is to retrieve those 30 notes and give the economy a significant boost. But how do we achieve this? Stay with me as we dive into the brilliant monetary reform plan that's gaining momentum in Iraq. To understand this plan, we need to grasp the current situation of the Iraqi economy. For years, many Iraqis have held on to cash, specifically the 30 notes. These notes have a high value but aren't actually being used in the economy. Why do people keep their money hidden? People feel insecure about the banking system and prefer to keep their wealth at home. This has led to approximately 80% of currency being under the mattress. Imagine having all that cash just waiting to be brought into the light. Now, the Iraqi government has realized that keeping this money out of the economy is a problem. This is where the monetary reform plan comes into play. The idea is straightforward, raise the value of the currency. But why? Because increasing the purchasing power will encourage people to bring their cash into the economy. Once people see that their money can buy more, they will feel more secure in spending it. This, in turn, stimulates economic activity and growth. Next, the plan involves dropping those 3 zeros from the currency. This might sound drastic at first, but it's a strategic move. By removing those zeros, the will have a more manageable value. It will make transactions simpler for everyday people. Picture this, you walk into a store and see prices that are easy to understand. Instead of seeing prices in the thousands, you see them in the hundreds. This could change how people interact with money, making it feel more accessible. So, what is the process of this monetary reform? First, the government needs to implement a public awareness campaign. People must understand why these changes are happening and how they benefit them. Next, banks need to be ready to handle these changes smoothly. They should reassure customers that their money is safe and show them the benefits of using banks. Then, Legislation needs to be passed to make this reform official. These steps aren't just bureaucratic red tape, 
they are crucial for a smooth transition. Once the reform is underway, we can expect to see some immediate effects. Businesses will begin to thrive as consumers start to spend money instead of hoarding it. The economy will see a real boost, and people will regain trust in the financial system. Let's consider an example of this reform in action. Imagine a local shop owner who has been struggling to keep his business afloat. With the new currency system in place and people investing their saved cash back into the economy, he sees an increase in sales. He can then reinvest in his business, hire new employees, and improve his services. A ripple effect like this is crucial for lifting an economy out of stagnation. Moreover, there is a psychological aspect to this reform. When people see positive changes happening around them, they start to feel hopeful. This hope encourages them to participate in the economy. This isn't just about numbers, it's about people's lives. And here's the exciting part, this reform is already in motion. Iraq has been making strides and moving at a fast pace towards implementing these changes. It's an exciting time to see how these reforms will unfold. Just think about the potential of having all that currency finally flow through the economy. In summary, the monetary reform plan in Iraq is more than just about money. It's about trust, security, and hope for the future. The plan aims to encourage people to retrieve their cash, improve purchasing power, and ultimately strengthen the economy. If you found this information enlightening, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Also, share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the Iraqi monetary reform plan? Are there other countries that could benefit from similar strategies? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insights on global economic changes. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.